Hey everyone, I just finished looking at the video and I wanted to record my responses. This is about the fifth time I'm doing this, so I'm going to try it again. What is stage fright? According to the video, stage fright is the fear of speaking, the fear of getting in front of people. Also, stage fright can be the physical symptoms that we get and when we have to speak or perform or do something in a large in front of a large crowd or even a crowd of people um this is brought about when we're worried about how we're going to look how we're going to perform and when we get very self-conscious on what is stage fright or what we're going to do also the physical symptoms that are performed by the hypothalamus creates a physical reaction that can that can be um felt by the speaker which is dry mouth back tightness sweating and other physical symptoms that can be um presented by the hypothalamus adrenaline um, rushes to the system, which can bring on the fight or flight symptom, which means is that either we could run away or we, we, we can fight or we can stay there. And we must recognize those symptoms when we're making a public speech or performing in front of a large crowd. So stage fright is a real thing and it happens to many folks. Even when I looked at the video, one of the Beatles wanted to perform all over the world suffer with stage fright. Describe what do you feel prior to getting up in front of a uh, present or present or group. Me, I feel very self-conscious. I get very nervous. I stutter. I hesitate. I worry about mostly, am I going to look like a fool or am I going to sound like a fool? I hate that when that happens. Um, and I try my best to practice at it. Um, explain why it's difficult to rid yourself entirely of stage fright. According to the video, stage fright, the fight or flight, the reaction to fear is embedded in our human makeup, in our human DNA. We are still animals and we're still um, have the senses of an animal, which means that we can either fight or flight or when we're put in danger and we put in fear. And after reading the book, our mind doesn't know the difference between psychological fear or physical fear. But when our body gauges in fear, there are physical and psychological reactions to it that are, that are born, that are described with it. And sometimes it might be it might be good because the adrenaline might help us through or might help us through the through the fight or we may recognize that we have these symptoms and have to work to it. So um, nervousness and tension can be a positive thing if it's geared and moved the right way. Uh, describe the six tips of the video reading in this unit. Um, the one I like is perspective thinking that stage fright is definitely a real thing and it is something that can be overcome. So perspective thinking that this is a normal action, normal reaction to stage fright practice always heard practice makes perfect. So if you have to make a speech, no the topic, know what you have to speak, know directly who your audience is and have your references and your sights down, right? And I also like the breathing techniques. Um, right before going on stage, the movie was talking about you, you put your arms out and you take a deep breath and you do breathing exercises. Also, what I like to say is maintain a great sense of humor. You may not be sure what happens up there. So if you might forget something, drop something, something happens that you, you know, laugh it off, chuck it off or make a joke out of it and keep it, keep it moving because the audience may not know, may, may think this was a part of the presentation. So they, they don't know. So keep a sense of humor, um, focus on the audience. Um, it's there go on um, instead of focusing on what you're saying and how you're saying it. Try to make eye contact, um, a communication to the audience and focus on making communication with the audience. It helps you along. Before going 
to speak to people, positive visualization, which allows you to think positively and to relax your mind. And prior to making a speech, you visualize going up there and making that speech in front of front of people. So I hope I've completed the assignment. I hope I've answered all the questions. Thank you very much.